shit. Nakikita na po? Yes po. Yes. Oh, ano na? Nagnanak siya. Wait lang, ma'am. Okay. Good afternoon, grade 7. I am teacher Risa May. So, first, we're going to pray muna po. Before we... Um, dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our heart and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as well listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as well discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lang, ha? <laughs> Again, good afternoon, class. Sorry. Good afternoon, class. I'm Mrs. Samir Adela, your English teacher. You can call me as Teacher Me. I'm more prepared to call in my second name because it's weird when, some, when my student call me in my first name because... My friends call me at my first name, which is Riza. So call me Teacher May. So I will check your attendance first. So everyone's are present po. So since it's already 1 p.m., you look sleepy na. So please, can you guys stand up po and do some 10 jumping jack and say, shout, gising na gising ako. Can you do that po? Thank you. So let's start now. Yes, okay. Most of us likely to compare and describing something, di ba? There are many types of comparison in English class. Class. So, like simile and metaphor. Are you class familiar about simile and metaphor? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma can you give me some sight about simile and metaphor? Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you. So, before we proceed to our new lesson, what can you say about this picture here? What can you say about this first picture? People are taller. Thank you. Another? Someone sick for help. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Jasmine. And another last. So, this activity class are related to our topic. I know some of you are likely to describing something, diba. So, here I have another pa. So, here. What can you say about this tree? Can you relate this tree to our life? Yes, full yes, of yes. Thank you. So, today class, I'm going to discuss the analogy. Analogy is also related to simile and metaphor. However, it's quite different when we are describing and comparing. Comparing objects or idea in common practices, especially when we are writing. So first, 
what is an analogy? Uh, Miss Caballero, can you please read the meaning of analogy po? Analogy. An analogy is something that shows how two things are alike, but with the ultimate goal of making a point about this comparison. Thank you po, Miss, Miss Caballero. So, plus, analogy is literally a technique that involves comparing or how two things are like. The main function po of analogy is not, is not just like to show, but also to explain or justify. Meanwhile, figure of speech like simile or metaphor only aim to show without providing clear description or explanation. As such an analogy... <clears throat> Excuse me. A such analogy class is class is more complex in nature than figure of speech. I know some of you are little bit confused in simile, metaphor, and analogy, but take a look this example on how metaphor, simile, and analogy differ from each other. Can you see na po? Yes, yes, yes po. So the example of simile is. Life is like a tree. Well, the metaphor naman po is life is a tree. Ang analogy naman po is life is just like a tree. It starts from a seedling that grows into a full-growth tree that has trunk and branches that make itself strong and bears with one wonderful fruits. In the other hand, class, simile, comparison of one thing with another thing with a different kind. So, so, simile po, baga, like ganito po, oh, life is like a tree. Parang kinukompare po natin siya sa isang bagay. Ang pinakatinatandaan po, baga, natin sa simile na word is the word like and as. Okay, example. Uh, my love for you is as a deep as the ocean. Sa like naman is, last night, Clarissa sleep like a baby. <clears throat> So, the metaphor naman is directly, directly, directly referring to one thing by mentioning another. So, kapag sa metaphor po baga, um, um, direct to the point mo siyang sinasabi, like ganito, life is a tree. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy. While the analogy po is comparison with the two things typically for purposes of explanation or clarification. Kinocompare mo siya sa isang bagay but we have uh, they have um explanation or clarification para mas maintindihan ng ano ng nakikinig or ng magbabasa yung pinopoint sa ano sa mga word di ba po so can you give me an example of analogy class thank you so but generally class there are two types of analogies commonly employed in writing po number 1 is Analogies that identify identical relationships. The type of analogy takes the form A is to B as C is to D. And it's often used to directly illustrate similar relationship between two pairs of words, often for the purposes of log logical argument. For example, class, English, language, mathematics, arithmetic. So the example the example here class shows the connection between English and language and the mathematics and arithmetic. English is basically a subject that subjects that focus on language while the mathematics naman po deals with primary arithmetic or numbers. So the last one naman po is analogy that identify shared abstraction. This form of analogy compares two things or concepts that are technically unrelated in order to establish a connection between a characteristic that they share. This type is common and used in writing because it can make abstract ideas and concepts more concrete. For example, class, what soldier do the country? White blood cells do inside the body. In the given example class, the abstraction concept of how white blood cells function in the body is made clearly by explaining that they protect everything inside in our body, like how soldiers perform their sworn duty to protect our country, di ba po? So, naiintindihan na po. 
Yes, Mr. May. Yes, po. So, we, we, go, we are going to do the exercise. We have exercise here. So, the direction is read, examine, and classify each sentence below as to simile, metaphor, or analogy. So, identify natin to kung simile, metaphor, or analogy. Titingnan, na, titingnan ko kung um, marunong na kayo mag-identify ng simile, metaphor, and analogy. So, number one, he is as, he is as thin as a tick. Anong sagot? Simile. Very good. Simile. Simile. Number two, life is like a bag of candies. You never know what you are going to get. Analogy. 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 Very good. Analogy. Very good. Number three, life is a wonderful Simile. journey. Ano po? Metaphor. 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 Very good. Metaphor. Metaphor po. Metaphor po. So, number four. This problem is a death sentence. What's that? Anong ang sagot? Metaphor. Metaphor. Very good. Okay. Number five. Teaching students requires the same passion you would give to plants in a garden. Nurture them. Care them. Let them experience both light and dark. Soon they will grow and bloom like you expect them to be. O, anong sagot? Analogy. Analogy. Very good. So, Analogy. number six. <laughs> number six. Last number. Her, her smile beams like the sun. Similarly. Okay, Similarly. very good. O, sige. We have another pass. But we're going to um libra library po para makahanap ng ano nang sagot ninyo dito sa isang activity nyo but bukas pa ang deadline nito so using available resources like books or magazine look for at least four example of analogies that identified share abstraction to describe or make a point write your answer in your notebook na lang po Buk bukas pa man to so next here <coughs> hi Identify which the statements below the below are true about analogy. In your notebook, write go if the statement is correct and no if say otherwise. Number one, analogy can show comparison between unrelated things. Go or no? Go. Oh. Very good. Number two, analogy is just another term of symmetry. Term for simile? No. Very no. good. Analogy can be used to explain a point. Go. Mm -hmm. Go. Go. Very good. Some analogies compare relationships. Go. 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 Very good. Energetic ah. Analogy can be used to describe unfamiliar concepts. Oh. No. Go. Oh. Go. It's okay, it's okay. So another we have um grouping store. Friday pang pasahan. <laughs> Group yourself into three. Complete the table below by providing an analogy for each of the given topic situation. Do this in your notebook na lang po. Find your friends. And here, the last assignment. In your notebook, write a short essay about any of the topics listen, listen, listed below. Make sure to use analogies in describing or establishing your point. So, pili na lang kayo dyan, class, ng, ano, ng isang topic kung A, the coronavirus pandemic in the eyes of a teenager. B, being kind towards others in times of great need. And then C, keeping the faith in the midst of problems. So, yeah. Depende na sa inyo kung anong gusto ninyo dito sa tatlo. Opo. Individual. Bukas ang deadline. So, that's all. Thank you for listening, class. And then, before you leave to our classroom, please, pakiayos po ng...
upuan bago umalis and proceed po tayo sa library. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma ma Thank you, ma'am. Ma Congrats, ma'am, May.